from the moment you wake up you find yourself moving left right front back center you're just moving up and down and before you know it it's night already then you end up not having one single minute for yourself but there is this idea of yours you have these beautiful ideas you have these plans there is just no time to put them in action today i want to talk about ways to have a productive day so that you can put your ideas into action and stop procrastinating the first tip i have for you is to plan the night before to have a productive day i mean the next day you have to plan the night before there are many things you want to do the next day so planning them will make it much easier for you for example setting a time for the things you want to do like house chores i should be done with the house chores like around 9 a.m i should be done eating and all personal care 11 a.m then you focus on what you want to do till the end of the day so planning will make your day much more easier the second tip i have for you is to sleep early early to bed early to rise right your body needs a minimum of six hours of sleep in order to be in a good condition you cannot say you want to sleep by 3 a.m then wake up by 5 a.m and continue doing that every day that means you are depriving your body of its rights so sleeping early is also a way to have a good and productive day the third tip i have for you is to wake up before everyone now that you've planned your night, you've slept early, now it's time for you to wake up before everyone. Even this is a benefit for you as a Muslim. When you wake up before everyone, you have a time for tahajjud, you have the time for rakatain al-fajr, which we know as the two raka before fajr. The Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may the peace of Allah be upon him, said, Should I tell you what is more than this world and all it contains? the two rakas before fajr and let me chip in one tip for you it is sunnah when praying the two rakas before fajr to recite um after your surat al fatha recite surat al kafirun as the next surah after your surat al fatha then on the second raka you recite surat al ikhlas so when you wake up early before everyone you have time for tahajjud because it's at the the third part of the night right where allah says it comes down to the last heaven and says who wants to call upon me so i can answer him you have all those time for ibadah so waking up before everyone will give you the privilege of tahajjud and rakatain al-fajr and it will also put you in a great mood the fourth tip i have for you is to create me time this is the time you have for yourself we know you've done your ibadah this is for allah i'm talking about time to do your things you want to exercise you want to stretch you want to have your morning tea you can go on and do all this in your me time so that you can put yourself in a good mood in order to have a productive day the fifth tip i have for you is to plan your way you planned what you want to do the night before now go through it again you've written everything down go through it and if it is in your mind recollect what you put in your mind check what you can do that day what you won't be able to do so that your day can go on smoothly the sixth way to have a productive day is daily affirmations what do we call affirmations these are words that are short but very powerful and it can be so short as i am strong um i am positive i am confident i can do it for instance you've been thinking why can't i do these things when people are doing it that is when words of affirmation comes in when you tell yourself at that moment i can do it that's what just goes straight into your mind and make you want to do everything and you'll be like bring it on i can do anything at this moment so words of affirmation are very powerful and you should start using that in order to make your day a productive one my seventh tip is do not avoid but replace i'm talking about your mobile phone sometimes we find ourselves um listening to podcasts watching videos for more than an hour or even for more than three hours but then again we don't have time to waste you can just get yourself a airpod or just an airpiece put it in your ears hang your phone around the cabinet or around where you want to do your house chores you want to wash the dishes just place your phone on the cabinet or even get a tripod and make sure you place it well that way you are washing the dishes and you are listening to the podcast at the same time so you are doing two things at a time another way to have a productive day is to eat healthy you see this topic especially is very important 
do you realize whenever you eat food high in carbohydrates like rice like bread the energy in these carbohydrates start to weigh you down then you start to feel sleepy you start to feel dull this is what this food can cost you and it might take you your whole day because when your morning is like this how would the, the rest of the day look like you can go for healthy options other than rice bread or any food or foods that are very high in calories if you must eat them just pack them to your lunch timetable or your dinner even because you are sleeping afterwards so eating healthy can also be a very good way to make your day a productive one the ninth tip i have for you is to start small now that you know what you want to do i mean all these ideas all this plan you know everything you want to do now start with the smallest one the easiest one do not start with the most difficult task do not start with the one that is the ad hardest of all for example you want to write a book do not just start and jump into writing a book start with the table of content because this table of content will make you know what to write about next because when you start from the first one you go to the second one you know exactly what you want to do sometimes when you start with the other stacks you can get stuck you can get frustrated you can just get tired of everything and leave it for that day then that day is wasted already so when you start with a small task it makes everything easier because you are climbing your way up right so these are the tips i have for you on how to make your day a productive one i really hope you find this helpful if you find it helpful please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video also share to other people that may benefit from it thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video